hi everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is patience in today's video i am going to be sharing with you guys how i made this beautiful and easy off shoulder cape jumpsuit with side pockets before we get started kindly click the subscribe button if you have done that let's get into it I'll be using this fabric for this tutorial and it is three and a half yards. I've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two this way, as you can see, and I have marked the waistline. Now I am going to mark the waist to the crotch depth. On an average, the crotch depth is 12 inches. To measure the crotch depth is to sit on a chair and measure vertically from the waist to the seat of the chair. After doing that, I'll mark the waist to the full length, which is 40 inches. And I'll add two inches for hemming allowance. So this is the waist line, the crotch line and the hem line. Now on the waist line, I'll go in by one and a half inches this way and on the crotch line I'll mark half inch and on the hem line I'll mark one inch so I'll connect the one and a half inches to the half inch this way so on the hem line I'll mark one inch and I'll connect the one inch to the half inch So on the waist line, I am not going to be marking the waist circumference. I'll be using the hip circumference on the waist. So I am using the hip circumference on the waist because I am going to be attaching an elastic band on the waist where I'll join the upper part of the jumpsuit and the lower part of the jumpsuit. So the elastic band is going to give the waist its shape. In order for the jumpsuit to pass through the leg, I am going to be using the hip measurement on the waist line. So I will mark quarter of my hip circumference plus one inch for side seam, that is 12 inches. So I mark the 12 inches from the one and a half inches. Now I will mark from the 12 inches to the folded edge. And what I have here, I am going to measure on the crotch line in order to get a straight line. And I'll connect it this way. So on the waistline, I marked quarter of my hip circumference. Now on the crotch line, I'll mark half of my tie, round tie measurement, which is 15 inches, starting from the half inch, as you can see. And then I'll make a curve. So on the hem line, I am going to minus three inches from the, from half of the round tie measurement. That is 15 minus three inches. That will give me 12 inches. So I mark the 12 inches starting from the one inch on the hem. Now I am going to connect it this way. Adding one inch on the waistline because it's a jumpsuit, I am going to cut it out. I will come down by one inch this way and I'll make a slant line to the edge. I will cut this other part. That is it for the front piece. I'll be using the front piece to cut out the back piece. I'm just going to place it on another folded fabric this way and pin it down all through to keep it in place. I'm going to as well mark the one and a half inches on the waist and half inch on the crotch line and also one inch on the hem line. 
from this point i'll come up by one inch this way and i'll make a slant line from this one and a half inches i'll make a slant line past the one inch i am going to measure the 12 inches i marked on the waistline on this new slanted line starting from the one and a half inches i am going to add extra two and a half or three inches and i will connect it to the crotch line here now i am going to extend the crotch line and I'll mark two and a half inches. And make a curve. On the hem line, I am also going to extend the line and mark one inch all through this way and connect it to the two and a half inches. That is it for the back piece. I am going to cut it out. I have a detailed video on how to draft a palazzo pant with a band and a zipper. And I also have another detailed video on how to draft a palazzo pant with an elastic waistband. I'll put the link on the description box so you can check that out and watch a more detailed video. On the front piece, I'm going to cut out the slanted line. So this is the back piece and the front piece. As you can see, the back piece is bigger than the front piece. Now I am going to be cutting out the pocket for the front piece. And I'll be using this piece of fabric. This is 32 inches by 12 inches. I'll fold it this way into two and fold it again. That is into four. And I'll place the front piece this way and cut out the shape of the waist and the hip. And I'll curve the pocket, the shape of the pocket. So I have four pieces here. I am going to keep two aside. And the remaining two, I am going to also place the front piece this way on the straight part of the pocket and I am going to pin it down and I'll mark the width of the pocket you can use two inches or two and a half inches and for the depth of the pocket you can use seven or eight inches and I am going to curve the pocket this way and cut it out after doing that I'll place the right sides together this way and I will sew by quarter inch after doing that I'll notch and turn it over make sure I iron it and I'll make a top stitch After doing that, I'll pick one of the other pockets and I'm going to align it this way. On the straight side of the pocket, I am going to place it this way. And the first thing I will do is to join the pocket. After doing that, I am going to sew on half inch to keep the pocket in place. And I'll also join this part. So that is it for the pocket. I have done the same thing on the other other front piece of the trouser now I am going to place the right sides this way and I'll join the crotch area by half inch 
so this is how it came out i'll do the same thing on the back piece i'll join the crotch area by half inch placing the right sides together placing the right sides of the front and the back piece together i am going to sew by one inch for side seam and i'll also join the crotch area i've done that to cut out the upper part of the dress remember the front and the back piece are not equal the back piece is bigger than the front piece i am going to measure the front piece all i have here is 21 inches and i'll also measure the back piece and what i have here is 27 inches to cut the upper part of the dress, I am going to be using the back piece measurement, which is 27 inches. Assuming I am making a jumpsuit without an elastic band, that is a jumpsuit with a zipper at the side or the back. Of course, I am going to add a dart at the back piece to ensure the front and the back piece are equal. Now I am going to be using the measurement for the back piece to cut out the upper part I've gone ahead to cut this out and it is folded into four. That is for the front and the back piece. Remember I said I am going to be using the back piece waist measurement to cut this out. So I am going to divide the 27 inches for the back piece divided by two, which is 13 and a half inches. And I am going to add one inch for side seam. That is 14 and a half inches. So I'll mark the 14 and a half inches and cut out the excess. I will mark one inch for my elastic casing for the off shoulder. I'll be taking out four inches for the off shoulder. So I'll place the four inches on the one inch line this way and I'll mark the chest line. That is half of the arm hole line. I will mark the shoulder to waist point, which is 17 inches. And I'll add half inch for sewing allowance. That is 17 and a half inches. I'll be using one inch for side seam. So from the one inch, I will go in by three and a half inches this way. So in total, you go in by four and a half inches. I'll also mark the four and a half inches here, connect it and curve the arm side. So this is the front and the back piece. I'm going to keep this aside. I've gone ahead to cut out the cape. Unfold, it is 20 inches by the length is 12 inches so if i should open it up it is 40 inches by 12 inches so this is for the front and the back piece and you want to make sure to notch the midpoint this is the front piece i'm going to be placing the cape this way the wrong side of the cape on the right side of the bodies and I am going to align the midpoint. I'll be sewing by half inch from this point to this point. That is, I am going to align the midpoint and I will join the bodies and the keep by half inch. I've done that. As you can see, I ensure the midpoints are aligned. Make sure to hem the armhole before you join the cape to the bodies. I've done the same thing on the back piece and I'll place the right sides this way and join the cape by half inch. And after doing that, I'll join the side seam by the one inch. I've done that. I've joined the one inch for side seam and also I used half inch to join the cape. Remember I marked one inch for my elastic casing 
now i am going to hem the one inch round and i am going to also hem the cape by one inch i'll fold in half inch and fold it again i've done that i've hemmed the cape and also the elastic casing i left one inch opening that i will use to pass my elastic band through now i am going to be joining the upper part of the jumpsuit to the lower part so i'm going to place the right sides this way i am going to align the midpoint of the bodies and the back piece this way and i'll also pin it down i'll pin down the side seam remember the back piece is going to align because i used the measurements on the back piece to cut it out but the front piece is not going to align because the upper part of the jumpsuit is going to be bigger so i'm going to align the midpoints this way and i am going to pleat the excess to just make sure the midpoints are aligned and the side seam are aligned then you can pleat the excess After pinning it down, I will sew round by half inch. So the elastic band is going to give the waist its shape and I will also be attaching the, an elastic band on the off shoulder. So I am using half of my waist circumference to cut out the elastic band. You can add extra 2 inches if you like. Starting from the side seam, I am going to place the elastic band directly on the stitch on the waistline. And as you can see, I am sewing on the midpoint of the elastic band and I am expanding or stretching the elastic band. So when I get to the end, I am going to overlap it and lock the stitch so this is how it came out now i'll be attaching the elastic band on the off shoulder so i left this one inch space that i'll pass the elastic band using a safety pin this way i am going to attach the elastic band so the measurement for the elastic band for the off shoulder is half of my bust circumference. After doing that, I'll join the elastic band by quarter inch and I am going to sew back the one inch. I've gone ahead to hem. This is how beautiful it came out. We have come to the end of this tutorial. If you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? If this was helpful, kindly give this video a thumbs up and also click on the subscribe button. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!